G'day, Greg Butler here from the South Australian No-Till Farms Association. And today I'm lucky enough to be with Phil Needham of Needham Ag, one of the world's leading experts on seeding systems. I wanted to show him today our Aquatil system, our liquid coulter, and we've been out on Dave Brandt's farm cutting through a bit of residue and into some soils. And Phil, just wondering what your first impressions were. So I had two basic observations, good, good observations. The first one is that the Aquatil system will definitely cut through heavy residue. We had, we had a bale of straw, we threw it on the ground and we had bats or wads of straw two or three inches thick and the water jet was cutting through most if not all of it in certain places so it will cut through heavy residue and as crop yields increase we're only going to have more residue to cut through so it's getting to be an increasing problem I can see. The other thing it does is it cuts through damp residue. A lot of farmers are limited in how many hours per day they can see. Okay. They may only start at 10 in the morning because of dew and maybe by 7, 8, 9, 10 o'clock at night, whatever, wherever they're seeding at, they're back into the dew again. So they can probably only seed 8 to 10, 12 hours a day depending on where they're located. With this water jet system, you know, we were cutting today in, in damp residue. We were cutting damp residue. It was raining and we were cutting it. And they're using water as a medium to cut with. So it gives you an opportunity to cut heavy residue maybe seed 24 hours a day so from an equipment utilization perspective that could be huge yep so you mentioned we were cutting with water today but one of my hopes is to cut with fertilizer and we know that ammonia is fine through the system we know that uan is great we want to look at ammonia and polyphosphate as well i guess um, one thing i've been interested in is getting that spread of fertilizer that phosphate so we can get root interception of those nutrients and uh, obviously we saw a bit of, of soil cutting today where you could see the grain through the soil just wondering what your thoughts are about nutrient interception well, a lot of farmers are using liquid fertilizer on a corn plant. They're putting a pop-up in the row. A lot of guys are using liquid fertilizer on drills and air seeders also. So instead of using water as a medium to cut with, why not use fertilizer? So I like the principle. If we can cut with it, I think that would be even better. No worries. Well, thanks a lot, Phil, for making the effort to come up today and uh, helping us out and giving us your thoughts. And uh, yeah, great stuff. All right, good luck.